So I have a little present for you. This is called the QuickTime Player over here in the upper right corner of my screen. And the wonderful thing about it is, you guessed it, it's free. And it is an alternative to ScreenFlow, which is a Mac software that costs $99 that you can use for recording your screen and doing tutorials or whatever. But I wanted you to know that there's an alternative to that. It does involve using both the QuickTime player to make the recording, and then you will have to take the recording into iMovie in order to make edits to it if you need to edit anything. But that's really the only limitation over ScreenFlow for the purposes of most people who are just trying to produce a quick little how-to video or whatever. So that's my gift to you. Let you know that that's 99 more dollars you can keep in your pocket or use for promotional pack purchases or whatever you want to do. Um, when you open the QuickTime player, all you have to do is go to New Screen Recording, which is clearly already depressed because, well, we're recording my screen. And the first thing that will come up is a little pop-up. I took a screenshot of it so you can see it here. I like to keep my desktop like the flight deck of an aircraft carrier if at all possible because that eliminates a lot of entrepreneurial ADD but so this is the first thing that will come up it gives you the option to record the whole screen or you can make a little marquee and record only part of the screen so we're not needing to do that so we're going to X out of this and then there's another option that you have um, within QuickTime Player and that is what kind of microphone you want to use so when the little QuickTime Player uh, record screen opens up let me see if I can find hmm I don't know if I'm going to be able to show that to you in this moment but I think what I'll do is I'll take another screenshot and tack it on to the end um, the, so you open it up and it gives you the option of the built-in internal microphone no microphone or if you have an external microphone plugged in, it will detect that and give you the option to record using that. So, whatever you choose, it's actually pretty good sound quality with the um, microphone built right into the Mac. So, that's pretty great. And this little icon right here is how you stop the recording, which is what I will do right now. Enjoy!